Do you remember the first time you came to the Gateway Arch? I come down here in 1976 on a senior trip with my high school class. When I got down here with my friend I would went to school with, I told him, I said, I, I'll stay down here while you go to the top. I was a little afraid of going to the top of the arch. So uh, I would have told you then I would never work at the arch. But this is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I get to do what I want. I work on the mechanical end of the trams. I get to make parts. As far as I'm concerned right now, I have the best job there is. As a tram mechanic, what really makes us, apart from the other people, good at what we do for a living at our job? The tram is a one of a kind, and we are a one of a kind because we're the only ones that work on the tram. It's on the job training. You never know everything there is to know about the trams. As soon as you think you know the tram well, it'll turn around and do something different. About a year and a half ago, the cables, which are part of the safety end of the tram, they're 1,390 feet long. We come in one morning and they were all bottomed out. They had no movement left to them. Come to find out the cables have drawn moisture and when the moisture goes into the cable, it makes it bigger around and it will shorten it up. When it gets too short, we can't run the trams. And that was the first time me and Terry had ever seen that. And it was very interesting because we had to figure out a way to uh, make it work. We had to adjust it to where these weights could move up and down, and then the tram could go ahead and run. What we found was we run the air conditioning more to take the moisture out, and then that helped solve our problem too. If you run into a visitor, do they ask you any questions in particular about the tram? First thing they ask you is if it'll make it to the top or not. Then after you convince them of that and tell them your tram mechanic, if it doesn't make it to the top, I'll come up and get you. We don't get a lot of recognition. The visitor comes in here, they don't always see what we do all winter long to keep the trams going up and down when they do come in to ride up and down. And we have spent a lot of cold days up there and hot days up there working on them and a lot of nights doing things that had to be done when equipment broke down or whatever that people didn't know we spent all night in there working on the tram so they could come in at 9 o'clock in the next morning and ride the tram to the top. Our job doesn't have a lot of praise to it, and we don't really mind that. We give each other praise, right, Terry? Yes, we do. We're kind of our own celebrities in our own little way. The satisfaction of coming in and seeing, what, 10,000 people A come day. in, go up and enjoy the ride up, even though they don't know that you had anything to do with a ride, when they come back down and they got that big smile on their face, you know you had a part That's of That's right. We have a saying, if it doesn't break down and it runs, we're doing, we're our, doing job. our job. That's right.